What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my new build in NBA 2K21 next gen. The reason why I'm making a new build is because we're about a week into the game now and I figured out that interior defense is not important. It only helps with guarding post moves and nobody makes post scores this year. Everybody has a 6'7 to 6'9 power forward and hardly any people at all have 7 foot 3 bigs. So today we're going to make a power forward because as you guys know, if you guys have next gen, power forward is easily the best position. You get so many more badges than everything else. So for the height, we're going to go 6'7". For the weight, you want to go one up from minimum just because you do go minimum. And then if you go one up, your strength goes up by one. And if you end up going to 212, your speed drops. So you want to stay at 211. And then for the wingspan, you just want to put it up one so you can get Intimidator Hall of Fame at 98 overall. Because if you leave it at 7'2", you don't get Intimidator Hall of Fame at all. You need a 94 block for that. So if you put it to 7'3", you'll be perfectly fine. Then for the attributes, you want to max your driving layup and driving dunk. Then you want to put your standing dunk up until you get 8 finishing badges, so just put it up to a 55. Then for the shooting, max your mid-range in 3. Then put your free throw up until you get 18 shooting badges, so you just want to put that to a 62. Then for the playmaking, max everything but your pass accuracy. And then you want to put your pass accuracy up until you get 24 playmaking badges, so you want to put that all the way up to an 83. Then for the defense, like I said before, you don't want to touch your interior defense. It's not that important. You want to max your perimeter defense. Personally, I don't like touching steel because I just don't go for steals. Then you want to max your block. Then for the rebounding, you want to max your defensive rebound. And then for your offensive rebound, put it max and then lower it one. You can still stay with 23 defensive badges and that'll put more to your physicals. So for the physicals, you want to max everything and then do your strength last just because that's the least important. And as you can see, you can get to a 67 strength. If you really want, you can put your strength down to a 64 and max your rebounding. But I think I'm just going to lower my rebounding by one just so I can get a little bit extra strength. For the takeovers on this build, I chose easy blow buys and extreme clamps. I want to try those two takeovers out. And then for the build name, it's actually an offensive threat, and it's compared to Jason Tatum, Pascal Siakam, and John Collins. If you guys enjoyed the video or if it helped you in any way, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's Josh, and I'm out.